stay cool all summer with these refreshing breath techniques. Did you know you can use your breath to help cool down your body? This technique is called Shitali Pranayama, cooling breath. But there is a catch. You must be able to do this with your tongue. To roll your tongue. Can you do that? A third of the population is genetically unable to roll their tongue like that. What? If you are one of the people that cannot roll your tongue, don't worry. There is another way. Can you guess how? I will show you later in the video. But first, let's look at the benefits of Shitali Pranayama. It cools the body. It affects the part of the brain that regulates the body temperature. Secondly, it induces muscular relaxation. Thirdly, it can calm your mind before you sleep, so it will help with insomnia. And lastly, it gives you control over hunger first and it gives you a feeling of satisfaction in the body. Now, who should not do Shitali Pranayama? Well, if you have low blood pressure, you should not do it. If you have asthma or any respiratory problems like mucus on your lungs or bronchitis, you should stay away. And if you have chronic constipation, it will make it worse, so do not do it. Now, how do you do it? It's really, really simple. As you inhale, the inhale inhalation comes through the mouth. As you exhale, you exhale through the nostrils. Sit comfortably. Shoulders are relaxed, your jaw is relaxed, feel free, you can have your eyes open or closed. If you want to concentrate more, obviously close your eyes. So let me show you. I'm going to do three Shitali Pranayamas. And first I sit comfortably and just become aware of my breath, the natural breath. And then on the next inhalation, I'm going to start inhaling through the mouth. So I'm going to stick my tongue out and roll my tongue and breathe in through the tongue as follow. Inhale. So there you have it. So you stick your tongue out, you roll your tongue, you inhale through the tongue, through the roll. And when you've done inhaling, and of course it's a long, slow inhalation, so you fill the air into your tummy, you fill up your ribs all the way up into the collarbones, so it's a full breath. And then as you exhale, you exhale through the nostrils, let go first in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the collarbones, then the ribs and then the tummy. Long, slow, controlled breaths. And you'll feel afterwards, mouth starts to cool in the inside and then your body will follow. Now, if you cannot roll your tongue, you can do it with your teeth. Now, the only thing is if you do it with your teeth is you must not have sensitive teeth, okay? Because it's gonna irritate your teeth. So it's very similar. You sit comfortably, you can close your eyes if you want to. And as you inhale, you're gonna place your teeth on top of each other. You're not gonna bite hard. So it's a gentle placing the teeth on top of each other. And you're gonna inhale through your teeth and you're gonna exhale through the nostrils. Let me show you. I'll do three again. Okay. And inhale. There you go. 
So you will feel it's got the same effect inside your mouth. The mouth first starts cooling and then the rest of the body will follow. Okay, very simple. Something you can carry with you wherever you go because your breath is always there. Tip of the day. Now, when you do this breathing technique, do not do it when it's cold, when it's ice cold uh, weather, okay? And the other thing is, do not practice it in a polluted atmosphere. Because we're breathing through the mouth, in your nose, there are little hairs that protect you from uh, pollution as you breathe in. That's why it's better to breathe always through your nostrils and not the mouth. So now we deliberately move, uh, breathe in through the mouth so you get more pollution into your lungs. So try and do it in an area where there's not too much pollution. And that's the tip. And I hope you stay cool and I hope this technique works for you. And remember, there are so many different breathing techniques and you always have your breath with you. It's not like you can leave the house and forget your breath at home. So it's a technique and go see my playlist uh, Pranayama. There are techniques for anxiety if you have an anxiety attack to immediately help you. It's a tool you can carry with you and you can use it to calm your mind and find focus. And this is great for summer because this last summer we had extreme heat waves and it didn't matter what you do it's just so hot with this breathing technique you're actually cooling your breath uh, excuse me you are cooling your body from the inside out instead of from the outside in okay well happy breathing and thank you for watching let me know how it goes Le uh, leave a message in the comment section and if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new here my name is al i'm from yogagangia.com uh, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of me and uh, if you enjoyed it and have a lovely day see you soon Ariyom tatsat Thank you.